Hey guys, welcome to this video. So today is going to be more of like a talking kind of situation because there's so much happening with K-pop right now, like just like new releases, comebacks that have already happened that are going to happen. And then I also wanted to talk about like my collection, how I plan to keep collecting and stuff so I'm just gonna talk about everything but um I will have timestamps available for this video so if you want to skip to like certain parts okay let's start with BTS so their new releases I think we all know that butter is coming out <laughs> and Namjoon pink hair oh my god I can't believe he lied to me he lied to everybody saying he would never go back to pink and now he's back with pink hair so whatever but anyway i'm so excited so for butter they're releasing um a vinyl and cassette tape which they did last time for dynamite and they also i think they did that for on as well so the vinyl i think is about 11 dollars, and then the cassette tape is about nine dollars and that's on weverse's website if you go on like sub k or choice music or wherever you buy them like in the US or whatever it's probably most definitely gonna be like more expensive probably like $30 or something because you're not paying for like expensive shipping like on Weavers you know but anyway so that's coming out and personally I'm not gonna buy them I didn't buy dynamites and I also didn't buy on so I'm like I don't really I don't have a record player I don't have a cassette player is that what those are called so I'm not gonna buy them. Um, I don't like to buy small merch things like that because if I did, I would be broke. Um, and then they're also, this they announced like way earlier in the year, but um, it's called The Best and it's their Japanese album and it's gonna have, I'm pretty sure all of their Japanese songs on it. There are so many songs, <laughs> but have, they have so many versions. So there's version A, version B, version C, and then there's the standard, which I might buy the standard. I'm for sure not buying version A, B, and C because I did that with Map of the Soul, The Journey, and those were $40 and I regretted it like right after. It's just really expensive. There's no photo card and it wasn't, I don't know, I personally didn't think it was worth the money for me. So I probably won't buy version A, B, and C. Um, but like one of them is just the DVD and the CD, the other one's the CD and a Blu-ray and then the other one is just the CD and a photo book. And then the standard, I think, hopefully, I'm not positive, will have a photo card, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know too much about that. But then they also have like sets so you can get like the version A set for 132 and I think it comes with like the standard and version A. Then there's like the version B set, which is $129. So yeah, it just depends on what you want. Um, so you can buy like sets or you can buy them individually. But I'm, like I said, I'm not going to buy them. I might buy the standard if it's at Target or Walmart's website, then I'll buy it. But still 30, how much is it? $32 is still a lot of money for just like the CD. If it, Like I said, if it comes with a full card, it'll be worth it. But if it's just the CD, then I'm not going to buy it. Okay, then they also have, there's a lot of BTS stuff, the um, Festa D-Day calendar. So that was announced a little while ago. I'm not sure if that's sold out, um, but it's basically like an advent calendar where you like open one like box every day and it's $40 and it's to count down till their eight year anniversary. So basically you start opening it June 1st and there are 13 days till June 13th, duh. But yeah, so you get like 13 things. This I actually did buy. I think this is one of the only things I've bought so far for BTS. Um, and it's just, I like it. I like things like that. So I bought it. I saw that. I got like the notification and I bought it instantly because I just really like things like that. But anyway, um... So yeah, I'm excited for that one. It comes with like photo cards, which is the main reason why I bought it. It comes with like a bunch of sets of photo cards. So I was like, okay, I need it. But yeah, every day is different. You don't get like photo card every day. There's like one day is like a set of photo cards. I think the very last day is one photo card, which is the one that people are going to be trading for like 
their bias, you know what I mean? But okay, then the last thing for BTS is their Map of the Soul One Concept photo book. And that, um, there's two versions, there's the Clue and the Route version. So, um, they did have a set for both of them and it also comes with like other inclusions like not just the photo book it has like the photo cards postcards and other things but yeah it was like a hundred something dollars for both of them and the set it sold out so quickly holy moly i was gonna buy it but then my boys back there ats they decided to launch um their like merch I don't know, like their pre-order merch on Sub K and I I love my boys so much so I had to buy that and and it kind of came out like within a couple of days of the concept photo book, the BTS one. So I chose the merch instead because I couldn't I can't buy both. So yeah, I was like but I don't know, I'm not even like that sad about not buying it. So I feel like it was it was a good thing on my part. Since I was talking about eighties, <laughs> we'll go to eighties. Um, so like I said, they have a Sub K merch pre-order. I think it ends the 14th of May to pre-order. And the reason why they make like the pre-order such a big deal is because you get an exclusive um, Polaroid for every purchase you make. So they have, I think it's eight items. So they have the light stick, the 18 e light stick. Then they have the 18 e light stick that's like the mini, like the key ring light stick. <laughs> I almost bought that like a few, like a month ago when they like, I don't know I think I was like on a I just wanted to buy everything and I almost bought it and I didn't thank the lord I didn't because now I get a photo card <laughs> the well the Polaroid anyway they have like a mask strap thingy I don't know I didn't that's the only thing that I didn't buy oh and the light stick I didn't buy the light stick because I already have the light stick but I did buy the key ring um, and then the hoodie, I did buy a hoodie, so they have like an ATs merch hoodie. Then they have um, posters, which I actually bought two sets of posters. So they have, for each member, they have, I think it's like two posters comes in the package. So there's like the Sungwa package, which comes with two of them. And I think that thing is like $20 for just two posters, which is kind of expensive, but I bought it anyway. I bought Sungwa and Woo Young, my bias and bias record. And then they also have ID photo cards, which are like ID photo cards. <laughs> I don't know, but it comes, I think that one's the eight member one. There's one photo card set that comes with eight members. And I think it's that one. So it includes a Mingi basically. And then there's the photo card set thingy, which comes with three photo card sets. And they're, I think it's like for each version I don't I don't really know but I bought that as well and I think that one was like about 20-ish dollars or something so I bought eight things so I'm getting I think eight photo cards or seven I might have just bought seven things so I'm getting seven photo cards but there's like 14 different photo cards like pre-order photo cards so I don't know who I'm gonna get I'm just hoping I get someone who <laughs> young but I love all the members so much so much the other thing was the phone like grip thingy like a pop socket that was the other thing I bought. I forgot about it. But yeah. So the next group we'll talk about is TXT. So they're coming out with the Chaos Chapter Freeze, which I think they already like released their trailer thingy for how that's going to look. I haven't watched it yet. I'm so behind on TXT, like everything. <laughs> Even on like Twitter and Instagram, I'm behind on TXT. I'm behind on To Do, which is their variety show. I'm just really behind with TXT. I haven't pre-ordered the albums yet. I like to pre-order albums so then I don't have to worry about it later and plus you get the pre-order benefits but anyway and I think on um, choice music or yeah choice music I think the set for the albums is about like $65 and then um on Weavers I'm not sure how much it costs maybe like $40 it's there's three albums and then they come with the photo card they come with I think postcards as well and then the um photo book the cd obviously then i think there's like a pre-order benefit too in each one i don't i don't remember too much about it oh 46 dollars on weavers so i did write that down but anyway so you i don't know i still haven't pre-ordered it i might not pre-order it because there's another group that's come back is the same date which is june 1st which is monster x monster x is having a comeback um and it's called i think the album is one of a kind 
There are four versions. Her um, albums come with so many pre-order benefits, so I plan on pre-ordering two sets, one off of Sub K and then I think one off of Choice Music. I like to order off of different websites to see which one will arrive first. Normally they arrive around the same time anyway, but anyway, so yeah, I did pre-order. Uh, no, I haven't pre-ordered them, but I do plan on them this week and like when I get paid this week, I'll pre-order one and then next week I'll pre-order one and then maybe the following week I'll pre-order the TXT one. Oh, it's just so much money. I haven't like bought anything in a bit for um, like K-pop related in a bit because of Mother's Day and then there are birthdays in my family in May. So there was like, I already spent so much money this month on like other stuff. So I haven't been buying anything like K-pop and whew, I'm going broke. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And the thing with Wants of the X is that Shonu will not be promoting with the boys because of his eyesight. Apparently it's been getting worse because of the lighting. I don't know. Um, Please read the disclosure. I don't want to give like misinformation on that. So please read that yourself. If you want to, Monster X on Twitter, that's where I read it. Um, So just, you could probably search it too. But anyway, so I'm really, really sad about that, if I'm being honest, like super duper sad. And at least I'm pretty sure he's like in the photo books and everything because they've already made it. But oh, I'm just really sad. I love Shonu. I love Monster X. They're one of my alts. And oh, it just pains me. And the fact that I he has to go to the military soon too. So it's like, what's going to happen with Monster X? And I think this is their seventh year. Like, we're, we're going to see next year if they're going to renew their contract or not. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> next, I want to talk about um, P1 Harmony. So I did pre-order their albums. Um, I've ordered, I think, two sets. And then I also bought one off of M-Way, which is a signed album, like my very, very one. I still haven't received any of them. I know that the M-Way one is going to take like forever to get here. But like my pre-order ones still haven't arrived which is shocking. I received Unhypen before P1 Harmony and Unhypen's release date was after P1 Harmony. So anyway, I did buy those albums, but th I still haven't gotten them. And then I think there's like, there's two versions, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still waiting on that. So <laughs> that's why I haven't done my unboxing on it. And then I think that's it for like new releases and then Unhypen obviously they had their really their most recent um comeback their first comeback ever and oh it was so good I love those boys they're I've been with them since pre-debut so they have like a special place in my heart for forever <laughs> okay now finally I want to talk about my collection kind of just an update on it how I'm doing um, all these comebacks, how I'm going to collect to them, like photo card wise, album wise, everything wise. So let's get started. So BTS, I'm actually almost done photo card wise with them. I'm only missing like three photo cards from like past albums and stuff. And then the, um, upcoming one for the Japanese album. I do want, if there are photo cards, I'm still not sure on that. I do want Namjoon's and then I think that's about it. Um, for like photo card collection wise, like I said, I already said what I'm buying and not buying. Okay, TXT for the Chaos Freeze chapter. I collect Yunjun, which he's really hard to collect because he's super popular. Him and Subin are probably the hardest. Um, but uh, see, I have all his photo cards for the past ones, so I'm gonna try my hardest to just buy the albums and then trade the photo cards that I get for Yunjun. And if I can't, then. I'll buy the photo cards and then um, sell the ones that I have. That's normally what I do with um, TXT. Like I don't keep any extra photo cards. So that's how I plan on doing TXT. So that's kind of normal for me. Just like trying to collect Yunjun only. However, I do have a soft spot for Taehyung. So if I, if I get him, like pull him, I don't know if I'm going to be able to trade. Okay, and hyphen collection wise. So this one's getting complicated for me. I only collect Jake and for the Border Day 1 album, Z, there were two, um, for the Dawn and Dusk version. At first I was collecting three members, which were my bias line, which was the O2 line, which is um, Jake, Sungun, and Jay. But I ended up selling basically all those photo cards and only collecting Jake. 
and I'm happy because those photo cards, I'm not gonna lie, they're not my favorite photo cards. I thought they were kind of like okay, and a lot of them looked very similar. Like, especially Sun Moon's um, Dawn <laughs> photo cards, he was like, it was just like the angle was different. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? These are the same pieces of paper. So <laughs> anyway, so that's kind of why I decided to only collect Jake's. And then, because I wasn't the biggest fan of the photo cards. However, guys, the new album, I already did my unboxing, so I'll have that in the description for you guys. But their album, um, what it, which one is it? Up, the first one, the first version of the album, which is Up. Those photo cards are so beautiful. I think this is my favorite photo card set of all freaking time. I'm talking mo mainly about the lenticulars, but like the normal photo cards are beautiful too. So I want to collect all the members for the up version and then only collect Jake for the hype and down versions. I already ordered more albums of the up version because I do want to collect all the members and it's easier to buy the um, albums and then get the three photo cards and then trade them instead of trying to buy them because if you buy them it turns out to be way more expensive so yeah I, I'm just gonna I plan on trading um but yeah so that's gonna be a lot of money on um, and hyphen for this comeback but those photo cards guys Mm -mm. I pulled Jungwon for the up version lenticular and I was like in shock. He looked beautiful, like stunning perfection. Chef's kiss beautiful. I was like honestly like so shocked. Um, so that's why I was like, I can't trade this. I can't sell this photo card. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to collect the up version. <sighs> so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, anyway, then P1 Harmony collection wise, I'm thinking about collecting Teo. He's my bias. It was Ki Kiho, but I kind of switched to Teo. I don't do that often. Normally, whomever is my bias in the beginning stays my bias, but like Teo? <laughs> I love him so much. Oh my god. But anyway, I didn't pull him for the photo card for the first album but for the second album i don't know yet but i did buy four copy well two copies of each version so i'm gonna see if i pull him and then i'll start buying his photo cards i don't think i'll buy more albums i don't think that's necessary i think buying double was enough or i'll try to trade i, don't, I haven't tried trading my p1 harmony albums and i think there's like two photo cards for each member for each version which means that there's, how many members? There's 12 photo cards for each um, album, which makes it even harder, which means I'd have to collect two for each. So that's why I bought double the albums so that I could get tail. But fingers crossed for that one, cause I don't know, I might not, and I might just stick to whomever I pull, but <laughs> I really want his photo card. Okay, Monster X. So collection wise, I collect um, Keyhan. he's my bias my little baby he's one of my all biases too um so I do plan on collecting all his photo cards and then I also do this weird thing I don't know I collect monster eggs kind of weird where I do like one member each well two members each version but it's technically only one because I collect Kihi on each version of the album and then I collect somebody who's older or younger and then the other one is somebody who's older young I don't know I'm <laughs> I just want Kihyun in the middle of my photo card sleeve thingy, so that's why, I don't know, that's like complicated. If you guys want a video on how I collect and set it up and stuff, like my photo cards, then let me know, because <laughs> I could talk about that for days. Um, but yeah, so for sure Kihyun, and then whomever else I pull, I will keep. Okay, ATs, collection-wise. That one, I'm almost done, actually. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm only missing three Sungwa photo cards, and I think that's it for the comeback that they just did for Zero Fever Part 2. Um, Wu Young, I'm pretty sure I'm done with him because I'm only collecting Sungwa and Wu Young. And then whomever else I pulled, which I only pulled San and Jung Ho, those are the other two that I pulled from the albums. So those two, I'm keeping the photo cards because I can't, I can't sell those. They look beautiful. So I'm keeping those and then, um, collecting Sungwa and Wu Young. I'm on a like low buy because of the comebacks that are happening with Monster X and TXT. So 
I don't plan on like buying photo cards for a while unless I sell them and get money back and then I use that money to buy photo cards you know what I mean so yeah um collection wise I'm trying to calm down with the photo card situation oh my god but yeah I think that's it on like new releases and update on my collection thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys in the next one